So some of you have heard uh, the story of how my son discovered paintball as the passion in his life. By the time he was 15, he had found his passion. This, this is the thing that he wanted to do. And over the course of a year, he was able to buy himself a lot of the gear that he needed. He got some for birthdays and Christmases, but he used money that he got from his grandparents to buy a paintball gun and the gear and the masks. And he got a part-time job to be able to buy all this stuff. And he was able to outfit himself with the, with the gun and the mask and the clothing that he needed to wear so that uh, he only needed to pay for the cost of entry and the cost of paint when he went to play on Sundays. Um, but after a little while, he was finding it really frustrating because that was the exact amount of money that he had, which meant he didn't have money to buy lunch at school instead of taking a lunch from home, which is what I thought he should do, or he didn't have extra money to go to a, to go to, um, to go and see a movie with friends if he wanted to. It was becoming a choice between going to see a movie with friends or being able to play paintball, which is the thing that he really wanted to do. And in the midst of being angry about it and talking to me about it, he came out and he said to me that I didn't support his activities the same way that I support his little sister activities, his little sister's activities. And I asked him, you know, what do you mean? And he said, well, you pay more for her piano lessons every month than you pay to register me for the soccer that I'm in. And what was the difference between playing soccer and playing paintball? He was starting a paintball team with a group of four other guys. They were playing in paintball tournaments around the Lower Mainland. He played all day, every day. It was a physical activity outside. He was learning teamwork. I mean, he went through a bunch of he was absolutely right. And as we were having this conversation, I started to think, even though he was angry and he wasn't very subtle in the way that he was making his point, he was negotiating with me. This was an example of him learning the communication skills that I was modeling to him. And he was right. So we put together a uh, plan where uh, effectively I ended up doubling his allowance so that I was paying for him to be able to uh, go to paintball and do the sport that he loved and compete in the sport that he loved. Um, and he was able to have choices about where he spent his spending money if he went to um, movies or pay bought lunch at school. And uh, one of the things, the little sidebar to this is that the next year he started volunteering for that paintball organization. So in fact, one day a week he didn't have to cover costs at all because he was refereeing and that worked out into being a part-time job where even to this day he still works three days a week at the paintball field.